Hello lovelies, today I'm going to show you how to do this look, um, I know it's kind of hard to see, this hand is kind of crappy, I'm getting ready to take it off, but it's black angled tip, red polish, and green like racing stripes, kind of, so I'm going to do just real quick, I'll probably just do one or two fingers to show you. I am using an Orly polish. It's Mandalay Ruby. Any red will work. Just make sure it's not too dark. The brighter the red, the more you'll be able to see the contrast between your colors. Um, no, actually, oh, here. That's what I used in real life. But I'm going to actually use a CND polish real quick. That's kind of a. It's a little brighter red, so hopefully you'll be able to um, see. It a little better. I actually just bought this at Ulta. This is a great brand and it's on clearance because it's a holiday color. I actually paid 99 cents for mine. So if you have an Ulta near you, check out their holiday collections and see what they have still. Because um, 99 cents is not bad for that particular brand. And I'm just going fast, so it's not going to be the best ever. This color, VTW, is called Hollywood. So in case you do find it, it's kind of a bright red um, orange, almost. It's really, really bright, and it's got kind of a gold sheen to it. So once you get your polish to the opacity that you want... Um, let it dry a little bit and this isn't, I mean you can see this is a much brighter red than what I used because um, I wanted you to be able to see the difference and this nail is way shorter than this one so that's why they look funny I actually broke this one before I painted this hand so it looks a little ridiculous so I apologize for that so I'm going to take now my little green paint that has the skinny mini brush. Looks like that. If you don't have paint that's like this, you can buy acrylics and do use a striping brush or a liner brush. Um, you can even, if you're really super talented, use a toothpick to draw this line. Okay, so I'm going to go make sure I wipe off most of the polish from the brush. You don't want a lot. And I'm just going to draw line right here. Get the th get it the thickness you want. You can use any color for this too. I just chose green because it's what I had out. And it's a really dark green so if you didn't know it was green you might even think it was black. And you can do your stripes as close together or as far apart as you'd like. Just make sure that it's they're nice solid lines. And it's very quick and easy. Um, one thing to remember when you're using these polishes, this one a little thicker, is that if you make a mistake this is polish and it doesn't come off. If you do acrylics and you make a mistake, you can usually go back and wipe it off or brush it off. So I made these stripes a little thicker just so you could kind of see how with just that you can totally change the way that it looks. So. Here's your thin stripes. Here's your thick stripes. They look a little different. And then I took black with red sparkles. It's China Glaze. It's called Boo Boo Heels. This is one of my very, very favorite colors um, right now. You can use just black. You can use green. You can use whatever you want. And I took it and um, actually did an angled tip. Um, starting opposite of where the lines are. So you take it and you pick a point where you want it to be. 
and just angle the polish upwards. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Try to have your angle um, stop at the top corner of your nail. You can do it a little differently depending on how long your fingernails are. If you have short nails, you want to do kind of a steep angle up like that so that it gives a little more dimension to your nail. So now just go back and clean it up if you need to. Um, you can take that striping paint and paint along the angle if you choose to. I did not. I didn't feel it necessary. Um, but if you're just starting out and your lines are kind of wonky, you can do that. Give it a more finished edge. You can also use, um, unless you get those manicure kits by like Sally Hansen, they come with the stripes. You can put those stripes anywhere you want on your nail and you could do it like that. So, I'll show you comparison. That's how they look. Um, it's really easy, simple, pretty fun, and you can do it with any color combination. So you could do white with blue stripes and a dark blue tip, whatever you want. If you've got a racing team, you can do that and do it like the car. You can do um, all your nails and add racing stripes on just one nail um, and leave all the other ones just angled the way they are. You know, you've got some options. You can also put, I've seen um, where you buy rhinestones and put rhinestones on them. Rhinestones aren't practical for me, they come right off, so I don't usually do them. But you can if you want to. I hope you enjoyed this. I will try to be back with another one later. I'll see you guys. Um, have a great one. Thanks.